My name is Ty Thompson. I'm uh, assistant director over development services in the uh, specifically the infrastructure division. I perform uh, basically if you flush a toilet, get a drink of water, or uh, drive your car. Those are the things that I am responsible to oversee. So not not a whole lot. I don't do bridges, so don't worry about that. Uh, uh, but we do we have experts for that. Uh, but everything else, uh, I am responsible to make sure it happens. So today I'm going to go through a few slides. Uh, first, uh, I always like to start off with the city's mission, vision, and values. And the reason why I like to do this is because this is important. This the mission statement gives us purpose. It gives us clarity on what our job is, what we're trying to accomplish. So Fort Worth will be the most livable and best managed city in the country. That's our mission. Our vision, which is our goals, that's where we're trying to be, is working together to build a strong community. I'm sorry, I got those reversed. Uh, I, look, look at that. So obviously that's that's attention to detail that engineers are better at than most, but unfortunately I'm not that not that strong. But so those are actually swapped. Uh, but your vision is your goal. That's where you want to be. You want to be a Fort Worth with, uh, will be the most livable and best managed city in the country. And our mission is working together to build a strong community. Um, our values, that's how we perform our work. That's experience, accountability, continuous improvement, exceptional customer service, ethical behavior, diversity, and mutual respect. I think the last one there is really important. Mutual respect among our peers uh, and among our customers is most important. That's that's how we get a quality outcome, not just an outcome. We're not just checking boxes. We're trying to meet the needs of our customer. So going on to our next slide, uh, these are the city of managers uh, office expectations for development services. I'm not going to go through all of them. Uh, I'll let you read that, but obviously we want to partner. In the development process, I think that's very important. Our customers come in here and we want to make them part of our community. Uh, we don't want them to be fly by night. We want them to understand and get involved in how to better uh, Fort Worth and to make it the most livable city in the country. Uh, innovation and problem solving, that's what we do. We are supposed to be transparent. DJ is very big on transparency. Uh, and I and I feel like uh, I, uh, I'm going to echo those sentiments because it's very important that we tell people, you look, we made a mistake, but we're going to fix it. Um, pro that's where problem solving and innovation come in. We are creative solution uh, makers. We can find uh, the best solution for you in, in the most impossible of situations. That's That's what we're here for. Uh, development services department is, uh, is basically we resolve development issues. Um, that's very important because when somebody comes in and they need a building permit, they're not looking for a, a lot of routing around and looking for a bunch of people. It's our job to provide them with the exceptional customer service and to make sure that they achieve what they're looking to get done. Uh, sometimes we have to say no. Unfortunately, what we can do is instead of saying no, we can say, or not unfortunately, but what we can say is, yes, that's not possible, but this is. So it's it, there's always a better way of handling the situation. Uh, we're gonna get into my division now, which is we're responsible for the engineering construction documents. Uh, we approve minor uh, waivers and variances. And we work with our other internal departments. Those are very strong relationships that we have to take care of on a daily basis. Uh, those are that's with the water department, TPW, build uh, property management, parks and uh, recreation, uh, and others that we have to lean on for their subject matter expertise. Uh, maybe the permit is in their realm. Uh, but we need to make sure that we're always strengthening those relationships so that we can be effective and streamline the development process. Um, 
got a little stuff going on there for you. Some uh, uh, neat stuff that I did with PowerPoint. I'm very proud of that. Uh, but uh, we deal with review, accept, and installation of private development, and it's comprised of five sections. Those five sections are stormwater development services, infrastructure plan review, development services water section, transportation development review, and finally, our parkway and permitting inspection. IPRC, uh, they've got 11 folks. Uh, well, we've got 11 p uh, positions total. And really what they do is somebody comes in and they give us a set of construction documents. And our job is to review them based on the design criteria and ordinances. We make sure that we are building the city in a very systematic, organized way. Now, not every site has, every site has its own challenges. So therefore we can't always treat everything the same. So the criteria needs to be re, uh, looked at in relationship to uh, how we can best apply it. Uh, so that's where variances and waivers come in. But uh, as you can see, we also deal with our other uh, departments uh, that we lean on. And we are uh, actually responsible uh, to get plans reviewed in a certain amount of time based on state law, which is House Bill 3167. Uh, state law is very important. It is not up for discussion, and we have to comply with it regardless if we like it or not. <laughs> uh, Stormwater Development Services. They have nine, uh, nine employees, but they have three third-party consultants which help review all of our drainage studies. Um, that is also, they look at flood studies and floodplains. So if anybody's ever experienced flood studies or floodplains, you know how important those studies are. What we try to do is mitigate those when we get that information uh, from that study. That involves a, a variety of different measures that look to uh, either reduce or uh, eliminate the flooding in an area or reduce it gra greatly. Uh, they're part of the development review commission or committee, which we review plats in that group uh, so that we understand that the plat has all the necessary information on the plat uh, related to stormwater uh, utilities. And they're responsible for coordinating with TPW stormwater management. Again, this is another, this is one of our uh, internal department stakeholders, and we want to make sure that we strengthen those relationships on a daily basis. Um, development water section, they've got eight folks. Uh, they're responsible for, and for review of the IPRC plans. They're part of the plan review team. Um, they look at preliminary and final plats to make sure that the information is uh, uh, provided that related to the water department. Uh, they also are a member of the development review committee. And finally, they're responsible for coordination with the water department. Again, another uh, stakeholder that's internal to the city of Fort Worth. Uh, we look at encroachments, abandonments, building permits, everything to make sure that they are meeting uh, state uh, city criteria or ordinances. Uh, transportation development review. This is, so if you've ever been stuck at a stoplight and you're wondering why it's taking so long, these are the guys that are responsible for it. So that's Tom Simmerly if you ever get mad. And we'll, we'll give you his contact information. So if you get stuck at a traffic light, he's the person that's responsible, not me. Uh, no, just kidding. So uh, there's four uh, FTEs. In that group, uh, we've got one consultant that reviews our traffic impact analysis, which basically takes in uh, that we get the study and it tells us exactly what kind of impact it's going to have, the development's going to have on our traffic system. This is very important information because we don't want people stuck at lights because what happens is when cars idle, it creates a lot of carbon footprint and that goes to global warming. Um, so our job is to try and not only help manage mobility and, and uh, navigability of the roadways, but we are looking at social and uh, environmental justice that, that's part of this uh, product. Um, we re also review uh, sidewalk waivers. 
I know that we are a blue, a blue zone city. So it is a, one of our ordinances that we put in on sidewalks, but we also have something called safe routes to schools. It's very important that we provide uh, children the ability to walk safely to their school. Uh, usually within, if you live within a mile, statistics show that about 60% of all students ride or uh, walk to school. That's a lot of kids on the street. We wanna make sure that it's safe. We want to make sure our parkways are uh, n navigable. There aren't any broken sidewalk, and those kids can get to and from school in a very safe manner. Parkway permitting. These are the guys on the ground. This is Jeff and Jorge. Now th they are very important. Uh, they it, this the group actually has three. We're looking for a, a, a couple of inspectors or inspectors right now. Um, they look at all parkway permits. Now, what, what that is, is your sidewalks your, and your driveways. And it's real, it, it, these are, people don't take, uh, take this into consideration, but it's very important that the sidewalks meet ADA compliance, that your driveway is a, a specific width, because that can create a traffic problem, um, as well as they're not too far into the right of way where they're creating a traffic nuisance. Um, and they inspect, they not only inspect and issue the permit, but they review the plans before they go out. So they kind of do it all in one shop. Uh, and they coordinate with traffic development uh, or transportation development review and uh, other tra traffic engineering related groups in the TPW uh, to make sure that they are uh, staying on uh, track with all the current policies and criteria. Um, the infrastructure plan review is responsible to streamline. We've got a new pro, uh, program called the CFA Express. What it does is it takes your plan review time and cuts it almost down to six weeks. Uh, Debbie Wilhelm actually uh, leads that group and she's doing a fantastic job. Uh, these are uh, 23 priority initiatives, uh, which are um, very important because it, it goes to our, one of our main values, which is continuous improvement. Uh, but again, I, I don't know if you heard, uh, we we uh, need to listen to the voice of the customer. Uh, it's important that we take in what their uh, experience is and try and modify our business process to make it as, as effective as possible and create that quality outcome that everyone's looking for. Um, having said that, I'm going to go ahead and move on past this one. Uh, so the, uh, stormwater development services priority initiatives, uh, we're working on the stormwater facility management agreement ordinance, which is to try and develop and adopt an ordinance, uh, covering all private develop, uh, detention ponds, uh, that would streamline a, a huge process that we have, uh, currently. Um, and we obviously are going to create positions, which we did um, for the SDS section to reduce workload for staff. That's something that obviously there's a lot of folks. We've added 40 personnel and it's been uh, those were to uh, also help with workload throughout the department. Uh, Transportation Development Review continue to do uh, provide training uh, related to new policies. Uh, Make sure everybody's on the same page from our consultants to our internal partners and continue working on creating the parkway permit process uh, to allow minor streetlights. This is something that uh, really will help small mm -hmm. fill projects uh, because that is something that a lot of them are having trouble getting is a single light, single pedestrian light. They can't get a contractor or, or an engineer because it's just not enough money for them. Um, the, uh, water section, uh, we work on tracking encroachments and the reasons why we do that is because we want to find out, you know, what are, uh, encroachments, variances and different stuff that's actually coming, um, and how that impacts the city. Uh, should we change our code? Uh, does that mean that certain things need to change so that we don't have so many variance requests? Um, parkway inspection. 
uh, doing a great job and uh, continue. We're going to have uh, expand that group to uh, five people uh, so that uh, we can get, they do about 16,000 permits, uh, or uh, I wanna say 16,000 permits a year, um, which is, uh, and I could be off on that number, but obviously it's quite a bit for uh, one or two guys to take care of or three. Um, uh, transportation development review, we've, we've talked through. Uh, they're gonna continue to work with TBW Streetlight on streamlining that review process. And we're gonna create a rough proportionality policy. For those of you who don't know what rough proportionality is, it's very confusing. Uh, I do actually, uh, Main, maintain that uh, for the city, uh, but it basically is an exaction for a developer uh, to provide the impact for from their uh, development. So if you come in and you build uh, 500 acres of single family residential, you owe us so much money so that we can build roads to support those new homes. Um, and, uh, I, one of the important things that I, I like is standard operating procedures. Uh, as you can see under development water service section, we're working on our SOPs. Uh, that tells that that allows people who come into the group to understand what everybody's job, but it also helps us explain to our customers what everybody's job is. Uh, that's very important. You need to be able to explain uh, what what you do and why it's critical to the development process. Uh, a new group that we're looking at uh, creating is the miscellaneous projects. Uh, initially, this will be supported by uh, third party consultants uh, and uh, contractors. But what we'd like to do is expand the existing miscellaneous projects program that's in water currently and add sidewalks driveway small storm sewer uh, development it's like it's still going on i'm sorry hello yeah. okay everyone so please remember to mute yourselves for the best listening opportunity for all of us thank you go ahead ty okay uh this group is basically it's it's in infancy right now We've received uh, uh, contracts or uh, bids from uh, consultants, engineering consultants, as well as contractors. We're reviewing them and determining whether or not we're going to move forward with it. But if it does, it's going to help small infill projects and small projects in general throughout the city. So it's going to spur development, hopefully. And with that, here are all the people that are responsible for the infrastructure division. Uh, I'm the assistant director. Uh, Vic Tornero is over IPRC. Taylor Gunderman is over development water section. And Tom is over TDR. Uh, we are looking for a stormwater management, uh, a stormwater manager uh, right now. Uh, that was Stephen Nichols, but he has since been promoted into another position. Uh, congratulations to him. Uh, we do miss him, and uh, but we will be looking for his replacement. So if you know of anybody, please let me know. And with that, I'm going to open up the floor to any questions people may have. All right, Ty, we do have a question in the chat. Uh, one question on route prep proportionality, does it apply to infill developments too? And if so, how are the quotes or contributions calculated? Okay, great question. Uh, it does apply to infill development. Um, we, we have two times that we can collect. Either we collect at the plat or we collect at the building permit. Um, how it's assessed is based off your use. So, if you're coming in with, say, an office park, uh, you're going to have a certain amount of traffic trips that, that are generated. If you have a drive through, you're going to generate more traffic. So your RP would go up uh, quite a bit. Um, for instance, uh, 
a quick trip, which you might think would produce a lot of traffic, actually is assessed at about 169,000 uh, for one example. And then a McDonald's, which has a drive through, produces even more trips, uh, and it's about 350,000. Thank you, Dave. Thank you, Ty. I do want to let you guys know uh, that we will be sending a link. Uh, this meeting has been recorded. So for those of you who haven't been able to uh, listen to the whole program in its entirety, it will be put together and have a bow on it and be sent to you. All right, you guys, we have another question. What can rough proportionality be mainly used for capacity only improvements, maintenance related items if condition is bad, that would worsen by development, and stormwater, water, sewer. This is a question, Ty. Okay, so uh, rough proportionality is used for water and sewer. That's calculated through the water department. Uh, rough proportionality for roadways is based on capacity. It does not apply to maintenance. Maintenance is the city's problem uh, that we need to take care of ourselves because we already own it. But if we're expanding a road, say from two lanes to four lanes, then we can apply rough proportionality. In the event that somebody develops next to a roadway that's already been developed out, it's got its four lanes or it's um, three lanes or whatever the maximum street section is supposed to be, I can't apply rough proportionality. All right, thank you, Ty. We have another question. So you have a, a early kudos uh, that you have a very helpful presentation, which it is. And here's the question. What is the best way for supporting departments to receive timely feedback on how we are doing to support and streamline the review process? So the best way to do that is to come to my office and slap me and make sure I know what question you have. Uh, no, uh, reach out by an email. Uh, if you don't get a response, pick up the phone. I have a one email rule. If I don't get an answer, I'm going to pick up the phone and I'm going to call you. Uh, I, it's, it's our responsibility to be good. That's why I talked about mutual respect. We need to be good partners with each other. Um, so you shouldn't feel if you're asking a question that you're bothering anybody because you're not, you're actually trying to help a customer and uh, you're trying to better the development process. So reach out through email. If that doesn't work, give them a call. And if that doesn't work, give me a call. All right, Ty, we have another question. When will the various engineering manual updates be released? Wow, that is a great question. We are currently working on them. Uh, we have been for some time, about 18 months. Uh, unfortunately, as most of you know, uh, when we start talking about ordinances and policies, it takes a little while to get everybody's input. Uh, we are finishing up the final touches and going to DAC in March. Uh, we're going to let uh, the if you're not familiar with what DAC is, it's a development advisory committee. We meet monthly with these folks. Uh, they represent contractors, consultants, uh, developers uh, within the city of Fort Worth who have a vested interest in these uh, new design criteria and policies. Uh, we're going to let them take a, a look at them. We're going to get them back. And then I would imagine sometime in June, July, they're going to be uh, updated and go to council. Right. Thank you, Ty. We have a, an additional question. Do you have an estimated date that the streetlight initiative will be rolled out? Uh, the streetlight is still in. Uh, it, the, are we talking about the permit or are we talking about uh, miscellaneous projects? It doesn't specify. Okay, uh, so the permit is we ha we already have a uh, 
prototype that's going through right now through GPW uh, that's with Clint and Courtney. Uh, we're using it as a permit, but we also, the miscellaneous projects group is slated to come online in July uh, or June uh, of this year. If all things work out with our contractors and uh, uh, we get everybody on board. All right, thank you, Ty. Are there any more questions? I don't see anything else in the chat. I don't know if someone wanted to raise their hand or just do a, a quick outburst of a question. Yeah, well, uh, one last thing I, I always like to talk about this is about leadership. Um, want everybody to know that you are a leader. Uh, you are responsible for doing a great job, but uh, you should feel comfortable in your work environment because uh, it's important to get along with your peers. Uh, it's important to get along with your supervisors and your subordinates. Um, I, I like to use the uh, like to talk about we work together. Uh, you don't work for me. Uh, in fact, if 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 it should be known as an AD, I work for you. So you tell me what's going on in the department, and and my door is always open to any kind of uh, improvement that we can make. So uh, just remember, I work for you every single day. You're the reason why I come to work. Um, but having said that, I want y'all to know it was a pleasure uh, being able to present to you today, and I thank you for your time. Ty, we have some more questions out there for you. You are popular today. Oh, good. All right, so another question is, can you come back and tell us about the manual updates? Absolutely. All right, that's an absolute from Ty. And then we have another question. What are the plans for development services to consolidate expertise under development services group, such as transportation elements and others? That's a really good question. Um, the, the idea behind streamlining is uh, we want to clarify purpose. Uh, or, or every section's mission. So we don't want uh, ancillary uh, uh, processes that interfere with the development process. Uh, we are right now, we've got uh, the, we're gonna be taking over some street lighting uh, responsibilities. So they'll be within development services. Uh, that is the, uh, the kind of, as far as we're gonna expand at this time, um, I know that that is, uh, I don't know if personnel are gonna be involved in that uh, or if we're uh, just talking about tasking, but that's the only thing about uh, combining any additional um, expertise into the group. Thank you, Ty. I think that wraps up all the questions that we have right here in the chat. We appreciate you for coming and presenting for us. You got, gave us some great information. I want to remind you guys that we do have another development re uh, review process training coming up March 17th of 2023 on strategic ops and permit building, um, the building permit uh, team. So I want to thank you guys uh, for staying with us through our little challenges with tech, and we will see you next time. Have a great day. Bye, everybody. Have a great day. Good weekend. Thank right, you. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good thank weekend. You.